Okay, so here's a little bit more detailed explanation of the safety switch on the LX277 for blade engagement and backing up. So there's a connector underneath the hood um, that has a bunch of wires going to it. Um, when I did this a few years back, um, I, my switch had broken. So this is really only for a temporary fix. So um, do this at your own risk. Because it is dangerous if you're backing up things that have the blades engaged. You don't have to hold. If you do this the way I set it up, you don't have to pull that switch upward and, um, uh, to keep the blades engaged. So there's three rows of um, three on the switch. So the um, the first number I numbered these just my name n number nomenclature. So I don't I don't know if there's a c connector number on there. I'm not going to go through the track number of this again. So anyway, um, the first one is uh, DC power, and I think that's 12 volts. There's a couple purple I think it is wires going to that corner connector. So that's number one right here. Number two is uh, blade blade engage, but that won't work unless you reset the uh, control board. So you have to pulse number three. So that's what number three is. So the way you engage the blades with the switch is you. Um, and I think in the actual real switch, um, this is just a connector. Um, there's a spring loaded thing. So when you pop it up, it really it resets it. Or when you push it down, when you engage the blades, you pull it up. So you, what you're doing there is you're just engaging. Engaging the reset, which is number two. So, so what you do is you go take number one and you, you pulse it on number three, and then you connect it to number two, and that will um, keep the blades engaged. Um, number five here is no connect. Um, I couldn't figure out. I don't think there's any wire going to it. Number four and six are just an ignition loop, so you have to have that. Um, let's see. Uh, and then the last row over here. I couldn't figure out what 8 or 9 was, but what you can do here is um, just connect up 7 with 9, and that provides, that allows you to back up without um, the blade going off. So that's, that's if you're familiar with the actual switch on the tractor on the top side, what you do is you, if the blade is engaged and you want to be cutting your grass backwards, you have to pull up on that switch, there's a, there's a spring loaded switch, so you have to hold it. It's somewhat of a pain in the butt, but it's done for safety reasons. So, but anyway, that's about it. So uh, here's the the picture of it with the connectors that I had put on there. Uh, I like this so much. I actually put a um, I put a switch on there where I could just I could do it the regular way, um, or I could do it with uh, you know, having it always back up without having to uh, pull that dang switch up. So you can do what you want, but uh, do it anyway.